In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 7, verses 31 through to 37. Again departing from the region of Tyre and Sidon, he came through the midst of the region of Decapolis to the Sea of Galilee. Then they brought to him one who was deaf and had an impediment in his speech, and they begged him to put his hand on him. And he took him aside from the multitude and put his fingers in his ears, and he spat and touched his, his tongue. Then looking up to heaven, he sighed and said to him, Ephetata, that is, be open. Immediately his ears were opened and the impediment of his tongue was loose, and he spoke plainly. Then he commanded them that they should tell no one but the more he commanded them, the more widely they proclaimed it. And they were astonished beyond measure, saying, He has done all things well. He makes both the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Open our eyes, open our ears to your words, to your teachings, that we too can glorify you. In the scripture reading today from St. Mark, we read about the healing of the deaf man. We have many healings, deaf, blind, dying, sick, those who are demon-possessed. And you notice one thing quite often. Jesus commands the people not to say anything. But it appears the more he says that the more they proclaim it, because they are so astonished at the miracles of Jesus Christ. course, today's reading is to do with a deaf man who could not hear. And because of that also, his speech was not very clear. And if you ever come across a person who is deaf, they have difficulty in speaking. Why, you may think. Well, it's probably because they don't hear people speaking. They don't learn. But this miracle that Jesus did when they brought the person to him, he pulled him aside from the crowd and put his fingers in his ears to clear the airway so he could hear spat and touched his tongue to loose the tongue so he could speak. The people around were not going to keep quiet because of this miracle that, was hap that happened. They w spread the word proclaimed it worldwide. He makes both the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. Think for a moment about yourself. Can you hear the word of God? Does it touch your heart? 
Do you get excited when you hear the miracles that Jesus performed? Do you want to tell people about it? Or do you want to stay dumb and not speak at all? Well, what do you think? Jesus wants us to spread the word of God, to speak, to speak of the miracles that he has performed, that we have read in the scriptures, that we have experienced ourselves personally. You might think to yourself, well, I haven't really experienced anything. I ask you another question, have you? Have you not really? Miracles take all shapes and forms. We receive every day blessings from God. But we are so often so blind or so deaf that we do not see and we do not hear. Jesus loves us. He does. I urge you all to repent of your worldly ways and turn back in being a true disciple of Jesus Christ. Proclaiming the good news to the world around you the many blessings you receive. And remember to always give God the glory for all things, for all things in your life. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always Amen. Amen.